and we are live. Cool. So welcome everyone to this um, Facebook Live about... <gasps> Do, 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 do. I'm going to wait until somebody comes on before I'm going to tell them what it's about. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Hello. This is like calling everyone. Okay. So this live is about Tomorrowland and it's now the time to feed the other wolf. And I wanted to start before Susanna and I dive into what that is for us. I wanted to start to tell you where the actual name came from. And Tomorrowland is a movie uh, by, I think it's done by Disney. George Clooney is in it. It came out a few years ago. And the whole the whole concept of the movie is that our point of view creates reality and that we are truly potent beyond our wildest dreams. And that point of view in this movie is literally... I think it's like um, it, there is a place called Tomorrowland that they're creating like another way of living, another way of functioning, another way of being. And at the same time, there is every single point of view that people on earth have about doom, gloom, catastrophe. All of that is, um, I don't know, it's called like beam back at them with like a hundred million times. So slowly the earth is really dying. And it's dying based on all the thoughts, the feelings and emotions of doom, gloom, the points of views that people on earth have that everything is going to hell in handbasket. So the movie for me was such a, it was such a great way of looking at this tool that we have in access. One of the first tools we ever learn, your point of view creates reality. Reality does not create your point of view. Yeah. Definitely. Thank you for the introduction. Definitely. And it is so fascinating how this doom and gloom seems so normal for people. Mm. It fascinates me every time that this is what people go to and this is what we've learned, that this is what's real. And that's supposedly the only thing that's real because it's solid, because it's it's heavy. And where people have learned, like all of us grew up with, okay, look, like what's heavy is real, when in actuality, like the opposite, like what's light is true for us. And what this movie and what this invitation with Tomorrowland is for me is like really this choice to be different and the choice to see, like to acknowledge and celebrate what you see can be as our future and nurture that into existence. And feed that wolf. They talked about that in the movie too. There's this old native Indian legend about that there's literally two wolves in your life that you can feed. One is the wolf of despair and gloom doom again. And the other wolf is the wolf of hope or possibilities. And that is the wolf that actually will create Tomorrowland, the future mm -hmm. that you know is possible. And I was on a call the other day with Shannon O'Hara and she said this thing <laughs> that I still like, still have, I wrote it down, I read it every day. And she said, if you really wanna be a contribution to the earth, you have to be the master of your thoughts because every single thought you have have an impact on the earth, on the future, on everything. So it's not just the points of views we utter out loud, it's the very thought that we have, the points of views we have in here is really what creates the future. And that means that we can change them. We can become, like we can choose what psychic, what kind of psyche we wanna be in the world. If we want what kind of, thoughts we want to have in our heads that's our choice and how we would like to be with each other also it's like even mm -hmm. if like if you have a situation where someone is upset with you or or anything um it's like you have choice of how you would like to respond and how you respond is what you communicate to the world of what future you would like to create and we always think that's oh you know it doesn't matter or all these other people who are, you know, out there on TV or in public, they're creating the future. No, you are creating the future and every single one of us. And it's really time for us to get the in impact every single one of us has on our future. It's not just, you know, the people you see out there who have a loud voice, like a verbal loud voice. It's you and your voice and the voice your being has 
Like that is what's making the difference. And it's really becoming clear on you have an impact on the world that you probably have not acknowledged. It's like the title says, you are potent beyond your wildest dreams. And what if it's time to acknowledge that and actually use it, yeah. you know, use it to create what's possible. And I think that's also where, for me, it becomes so much more apparent that we, it's, it's so much about the energetics of what we choose to be in the world and what we, how we choose our thoughts, how we choose to be with other people, like you were saying. It's small things, but they create a wave of change to the world. So also everywhere, anyone who's listening to this kind of have gone to that. It doesn't really matter what I do, what I think, what I say, what I be. That is a lie. You matter. Everyone matters and what you choose and what you choose to do different, to be different in the world will create a different world. And, and I think one of the things that, that Susanna and I both get really excited about is using the tools of access consciousness, using consciousness, because it's easy to say, think you know it's very annoying actually like think positively and the world will get better or like the Pollyanna whole thing you know where be happy and everybody will be happy so it's not about that you're wrong <laughs> you're wrong if you're aware of heaviness or things in the world that the key is that you have a choice and you can use the tools to literally use the point of view you have that the world is going to hell in a handbasket use the tool to change that and actually simultaneously change like being the waves like the rings on the water and changing so much more because you were willing to actually okay pick that thought that point of view up and saying hey is this really true is this really what i want to put in as a solidity in the world and have there or would i like to look at this uncreate and destroy everything that makes me hold it in place, makes me have it as real, I create and destroy that, and then open up the space for a different choice. For me and for everyone connected to it. Sorry, Susanna, go. No, I love uh, the freedom that gets created when we don't have to avoid the heaviness anymore. Because that yeah. seemed like our only choice to go, okay, la, 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 la. Or, you know, I, you know, do something to, I mean, other, you know, some people take drugs, other people, you know, you know, drug themselves out on Facebook and scroll around and, you know, whatever, you know, people do to not, to not be present with what is. But the, the freedom that gets created when, you know, I don't have to avoid the heaviness and I know that the heaviness is not stronger than me. It mm. doesn't bite me in the butt. It, I can master it. I can master, like you said, um, I can master whatever comes up and I can serve it. I can surf on it and I can create beyond it without having to avoid it. And the, like truly the potency you get to find that you are is incredible. So truly looking forward to this day and exploring mm -hmm. whew, and, what is and, available. And I want to add, because a lot of times people who listen to uh, people who use access tools kind of get annoyed, like ease your mm. glory. How does it get any better than this? So the the what Susanna is saying is so so, so vital because access is not about avoiding what's heavy, what you're aware of in the world that doesn't work. It's about being willing to be with it. Look at what is it? What can you do with it? Can you change it? And what will it take to change it? Mm. And that's the whole. Like, what if the tools, how does it get any better than that? You know, ease, joy, and glory. All of those tools are tools that you can use exactly when you're willing to be aware of what you're aware of that's heavy in the world. Take that and change it. So this particular class that we're doing on August 23, it's called Tomorrowland, uh, Time to Feed the Other Wolf. It's really bring all the awareness you have, all mm -hmm. the points of views you have, everything that you think you can't ask about, everything that you're trying to hide and pretend you're not aware about, everything you're trying to hide because you're thinking it and you think you're wrong because you're even having those thoughts and you're pretending you are happy, but you still have that awareness. Bring them to this day and let's put it all up there and use the tools of consciousness 
to change it, get underneath it and create a different energy in the world. That's what we would like to do on Tuesday. Definitely. And when Katerina proposed that title in the class, it made me cry. I'm like, wow, that, you know, <laughs> like knowing that we have the luxury and the fortune to create our future, not be the effect of anybody else's projection on how the future should be or can't be, but we having the luxury to paint on that blank canvas because that's what it is right now like we we get to create it we get to choose what colors we would like to have in our future but we got to know how potent we are we got to know and acknowledge that we are capable of doing so so yeah highly invited let's play let's create and we're already doing this so if you're mm -hmm. listening to this and you're doing any kind of access tools if you're listening to videos if you're going to bars classes if you run your bars if you're going to other classes you're already part of creating tomorrowland so this is i mean it's been going on you can perceive the change you know you can see what's going on in the world and if you would like more clarity on that you can also come to this class and ask those questions okay so what are we creating where are we heading are we all heading to one place? Like, what is this? Come and explore tomorrow, Tomorrowland, the future, and what the fuck else is possible <laughs> with being so potent as we are lucky enough to be. I love it. Yes. <laughs> so maybe see you on the 23rd, and I'll definitely see you, Susanna, on the 23rd. Until then, bye. <laughs> bye.